Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to install Apache uh, Kafka on Windows operating system. Okay, uh, let us jump into the uh, topic. Okay, so basically, uh, we want to install uh, uh, Apache uh, Kafka on Windows machine because whenever I do uh, demos on Kafka or uh, Spark with uh, Kafka related videos, uh, I am actually always doing on the Linux operating system, which is uh, Ubuntu mostly. Uh, I want to do it on Windows as well. Uh, so in this video, we will discuss how to install the uh, Apache Kafka on Windows. I am using a Windows operating system 10 on my laptop. Okay, so the first prerequisite for uh, uh, installing Apache Kafka is Java. Okay, you should have uh, uh, Java 1.8 installed uh, or uh, a later version of uh, Java in your machine. Okay, that's your prerequisite. Okay, so first what we'll do is we'll just go and uh, uh, download the um, Apache Kafka. Okay, you can go to the google.com. Okay, you can type uh, Apache Kafka uh, download. So you will actually, uh, uh, <coughs> the link will come. You can select the second link. Okay, so which is a download iPhone Apache Kafka, uh, iPhone Apache Foundation. Okay, the Kafka has been actually uh, developed by LinkedIn for their in-house project. Later, it's been uh, outsourced to the Apache Foundation. Okay, so click on this uh, second link to download the Apache Kafka. Once you get into the uh, download page of Apache Kafka, so you can download the binaries. Either you can download the source and you can build it. So uh, for us to... Uh, uh, get a uh, uh, start immediately. We'll just uh, download the binaries which is already built from the source code. Okay, I'm taking the latest version of uh, Apache Kafka which is which is built uh, uh, to support the Scala uh, 2.12 uh, 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 version. Okay, so once I download this, okay, so this page will come. Okay, so you can download from the mirror site. It will give the link you. Okay, so this, uh, I'm sorry, uh, it will Give the mirror uh, website link. Uh, click on this. Okay, then it will start downloading the uh, the binary file. The binary files is uh, close to uh, uh, 59.5 MB. Okay, so based on your internet speed, it will get download. Okay, it's getting downloaded. Okay, so okay, once it is downloaded, you can go to the uh, the download page or click on this show in folder. It will open the uh, download page of your uh, uh, the the download page of your system and uh, folder of your system and then you will see this uh, uh, the, bin uh, the binary file in the compressed format so it will be in the dot uh, tzz format okay so we need to extract this so right click and use uh, what are the uh, uh, the uh, <coughs> compressed uh, extractor you have compression uh, uh, extractor you have so i have a seven zip uh, uh, as a uh, extraction uh, tool you can go and uh, click on extract here then it will extract the uh, .tar file okay so this uh, tar z z from that uh, the tar tar uh, t r file will come so then again you right click and extract here then you will see the extracted folder uh, kafka underscore 2.12 iphone 2.3.1 this is kafka version which i am going to use is 2.3.1 okay so you can actually take this uh, extracted folder and keep it where wherever you want to uh, uh, consider as a Kafka installation folder. So I just created in D colon Apache underscore Kafka. I place my uh, extracted folder. So you can just navigate to the uh, uh, click on this uh, uh, the Kafka folder. Okay, the root folder, and uh, navigate to the config folder. Uh, uh, there will be a folder called config. Then you then you can see the uh, configurations related to Zookeeper and Kafka server. Uh, all the stuff okay consumer and producer related configurations okay so we are interested to modify few uh, properties in the zookeeper dot properties and server dot properties basically kafka is uh, 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 working or uh, making use of zookeeper for coordination service because uh, uh, there are going to be a multiple parties or process in this inside kafka right so there will be a producer there will be a consumer right and there will be a kafka broker so uh, to uh, to make the interaction or coordination between these process or services uh, the zookeeper is used because zookeeper is a coordination service okay so first we will change the zookeeper dot property okay let me open the zookeeper dot property so i am interested to change this uh, uh, data directory okay 
so by default it will be a under uh, uh, slash tmp temp and slash zookeeper so i'm going to give my windows location so i created a, a, a folder called uh, uh, in the apache uh, in the d colon apache underscore kafka inside that i created a folder called uh, data inside i created one more subdirectory called zookeeper underscore data zookeeper underscore data so that entire path i given for the data directory of zookeeper dot prop in the zook for zookeeper zookeeper uh, so in 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 the in the uh, after modifying this uh, zookeeper dot properties i just saved it okay then i will open the another file right uh, which is uh, uh, basically uh, uh, <coughs> server dot properties okay let me show you the location also uh, d colon uh, apache kafka then i have a cup okay this one okay so uh, this is the uh, the data directory which i which i created one for zookeeper data another is for uh, uh, kafka data okay now uh, what i am going to do is i, I actually i am doing the changes in the configuration files which are there in the uh, the configuration folder okay we modified zookeeper dot properties with the, the uh, zookeeper data uh, directory now we'll go and modify the uh, the, in the the server dot properties which is which is meant for all the configurations uh, which will be picked for uh, for uh, zookeeper uh, sorry the broker kafka broker okay the kafka broker or kafka server okay so once you open this file just uh, scroll down okay then you will see the uh, log directory for uh, kafka okay so here change the directory by default it will be a slash temp slash uh, kafka ifn log so you can change this with the, uh, the the location which we created which is uh, basically uh, uh, inside d colon apache kafka data and kafka data i'll take this location okay and i'll put it on this uh, uh, the particular uh, location for log directory for uh, kafka so once you created this okay now uh, uh, you just uh, uh, save this file okay now we want to start the uh, um, zookeeper first because uh, to run uh, uh, kafka broker or kafka server zookeeper has to be run it, because it is making use of zookeeper to maintain the offsets uh, 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 we will understand that uh, offset is basically a, a, a unique uh, number which is given for each message when you publish the kafka topic okay all this kind of uh, metadata, uh, metadata management is uh, done using the zookeeper uh, zookeeper service okay so now uh, what i am going to do is i am going to start the zookeeper service first so what is the command to start uh, just to open uh, uh, um, the command line okay just go to the uh, run window uh, you can just give uh, uh, windows key click on the windows key and r uh, type cmd and it will be open uh, with your default user location uh, so just navigate to the uh, the your the kafka installation location so here it will be a, a bin then windows go to this location because you see here you you see lot of uh, uh, um a lot of files here okay so uh, we want to start the uh, zookeeper service first okay so i will come here um uh, just i'm going to run the uh, zookeeper uh, uh, zookeeper server iphon start dot uh, bat this is the batch file uh, we are going to start this this will start the uh, zookeeper service or uh, the component and you need to pass the configuration file you just provide the path of the configuration file which okay, is uh, zookeeper dot properties once you run this then uh, zookeeper is still, uh, zookeeper, zookeeper will be running zookeeper will run on by default the port number 2181 okay so next we want to start the uh, kafka server which is a kafka broker so you again go to navigate to the windows uh, location of your uh, kafka binaries uh, bin folder sorry and uh, you just run this uh, kafka iphon server iphon start dot bat followed by the server dot, the server dot properties file so once you run it it will open and this uh, zookeeper server will be started 
and it will be running on the uh, port number uh, 2092 by default okay uh, where do you see here here you see here awaiting connection on the uh, 9092 okay now both uh, kafka zookeeper and uh, uh, kafka server is running now we can actually go and create the topics okay and so you can publish sample message and test it okay now uh, to create a topic there is a another batch file uh, kafka iphone topics dot bat uh, followed by you can give this command iphone create iphone iphone uh, zookeeper followed by the zookeeper uh, url which is a uh, uh, localhost colon 2191 and followed by replication factor one and partition also one because replication factor we have a single this kind of single node cluster so we can set one partition also is set one and uh, iphone topic you can provide the topic name i just given the topic name as uh, message topic so once i do enter it is created the topic name called message topic now uh, so you can just check whether the topic is created using a list command so there is another command uh, called iphone iphone list what you need to do i need to run the kafka iphone bat uh, um, uh, topics dot batch sorry bat iphone uh, uh, iphone uh, list okay so iphone iphone list and followed by iphone iphone zookeeper and uh, localhost colon 2181 okay once you enter uh, you see the the already the, the the topic which you created in the previous step okay now we created the topic let us actually uh, uh, run some uh, uh, message okay and check some publish some message to the topic and we'll check how, how it is working so i have the command to run your uh, so we are making use of command line uh, producer let me minimize my recording below uh, there is a command line producer okay we can try to uh, use that uh, so basically uh, there is a batch file uh, kafka iphone console iphone producer dot bat and followed by the broker list which is a kafka broker url and the port number and message to uh, the in iphone iphone topic you give the topic name so i'm going to run one open a one console okay this console i have already i'm going to run this in one console the producer other console will run the consumer the command like con consumer okay let me run this and also i will run the consumer in another window so i opened another window and navigated to the the windows uh, folder of your uh, Apache Kafka bin folder. Now I will run this as well. So I will go to the command line uh, uh, producer. I will just type uh, hello hello Apache Kafka. Okay. I publish this message. Uh, so in the consumer you see here whatever we type the message it's got published on this topic message topic it's been consumed here uh, good morning just yes, good morning see so this is how the uh, apache kafka works so you can install it on windows no there's no problem in that uh, you can actually use this uh, uh, making use of this uh, messaging system called distributed messaging install uh, called apache kafka okay i hope this video is helpful for you uh, please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, watch my other videos and uh, uh, i organized in the uh, playlist okay so basically i have uh, <coughs> uh, different playlists for uh, python uh, uh, apache spark i have developed uh, two projects using apache spark okay uh, you can using the different technologies uh, like uh, uh, Kafka, um, uh, Spark Structure Streaming, uh, Cassandra, there are many uh, technologies I used it. Please uh, watch and uh, provide your feedback. Thank you so much friends. See you in the next video.